Hello Internet, welcome to the Doing It Is channel. JavaScript lesson 10 is going to be about two functions that you will use regularly. It's the set timeout and the set interval. The set timeout is a function that allows you to execute statements once after a given period of time. Set interval allows you to execute statements repeatedly after a given period of time. So let's get into the functions and syntax. Okay, so first I'm going to create a simple test function just so that we can call it in our set timeout function. So this is going to console log set timeout function. Okay. Okay. Next we are going to call the set timeout function. Set timeout. That is the syntax and we have parentheses and we pass we have to pass in two parameters first is the name of the function that we want to call and the second is the number of seconds that we want to stay until this function is invoked so the time is in milliseconds so I have to put 1000 to get one second so let's check this out in the browser so it waits for one second and then the function is called so refresh, it waits, and then the function is called. So that is set time out. Set interval is same way. First parameter is a function. We can call functions like this as a function expression. And the second parameter is the number of time, the amount of time that you want to wait until you invoke this function, this function repeatedly. So I'm going to put in thousand for this as well. And at the end, I'm going to have a semicolon. So I'm going to console log the message of tick tock. Let's refresh and check that out. So tick tock once, two, three times, four times, and it will keep on running until we we'll stop it. So then, then comes the question: How do we stop this interval? We stop this by using the clear interval function. So the clear interval function uh, requires an identification of the interval that it wants to stop. So we get that by assigning this set interval to a variable. So, so I'm going to say set interval interval ID is my variable name. Next, I I'll create a simple counter so that we will ask it to stop when once it reaches. Uh, the count of five okay uh, so I'm going to say if the counter is equal to five then I want you to clear our interval so this function expects one parameter that is the ID of the set interval so set interval ID okay that does that so of course we have to increment the counter by one otherwise we will never reach counter to be five so increment that by one okay we save that and let's check set time on once twice three four and five that's it no more okay so I can also say console.log layering set interval okay oops and we have tick tock one threes and clearing the set interval so that's how you use uh, the set time or function at the set in set interval function okay so uh, that's a small lesson on JavaScript uh, I hope you enjoyed do subscribe, do like and do share and let me know what you think about these lessons. Thank you very much. Bye.